Hi, welcome to my second Minecraft video. Um, I decided that I was going to give you, uh, take you back to Monkey Island, return to Monkey Island no less, um, show you some of the improvements that we've made to the island since yesterday, but I figured I'd also show you how to get to Monkey Island from the spawn location. So here we have an NPC village with lots of different people to trade different things with you. Um, this is actually uh, the first time I've even seen an NPC village, but then, to be honest with you, it's been over a year since I actually first played this game. Anyway, the sun is starting to set, so we'd better be quick. As you can see, there's a sign here pointing Monkey Island in this direction. As soon as you look over in that direction, you see a whole bunch of jack-o'-lanterns, so it should be quite obvious that that's the direction that you need to go in. So I'm just going to run because we're running out of time. So we've got a nice lit path to take you towards Monkey Island. Now, some of the improvements that I've made since yesterday include <clears throat> a couple of bridges um, and some fences around the entire island. We've got a nice automatic exit there with some buttons, and we've got a nice bridge here that then leads us onto Monkey Island. So you should now recognise this because you would have seen this in my last video. So here's my swimming pool again. Here's the uh, the lounge that was designed with all of the sexy art that's down there. And as you can see, different to last time, we've now got fences going around the entire perimeter. Here's our farm, and for some reason we've got a pumpkin that refuses to behave, but never mind. I can't remember if this bridge was here in the last video or not, but here it is in case it wasn't. Here, so I've got all the animal pens, but you've seen all that before. And oh, there's Mari. Turn around and say hi, Mari. Wave at us. Cool. Okay, so now what we're going to do now, I'm going to take you on a very special tour here across this bridge. Now, I decided that I was going to build my own natural island, and here is my natural island. Uh, so, in build my own island which is going to be a nature reserve. So as you can see here, private property go away. Now that actually hides a little secret which I'll show you in a moment. And we've got some trees that are planted here and as you can see I've got a little gate over here that then leads a mud trail which is very different to the other bridges but the purpose for this is to try to get some grass to spread from that forested area over there to my island. It's been it's been going for a few hours and it's starting to make its way across I just hope that it gets there eventually. Now the fun part about this is much like a Legend of Zelda game if you come along and break a hole here just in front of the sign oh what is this we find? Well this is a nice big cave which I de uh, developed the idea behind this is that it's like an amusement, it's it's like Cheddar Gorge or something like that. You come along and you can get a cavern tour. This room that I'm standing in now is one that I built myself, dug it out, created the island and then dug it out. But everything that you see beyond here, all of this stone, that was all here to begin with and in fact I, I found this area as it is. As you can see we've got a couple of maps up here to give you an idea of kind of what, what is involved. You have to pay to get in here but I own the place so I don't. And, and then it becomes a bit more treacherous. Here there is a very strong possibility of death. It's a fake waterfall incidentally I used the source block over there just to give it a bit more visual impact. So we can come down here and uh, it's all kind of very, very kind of Indiana Jones, as it were. And you've got a nice little viewing platform here. And there's not really anything interesting down here, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm, I'm trying to think of, of calling the interesting things to, to do with it, to make it more, more interesting. Um, but it should be completely safe. There's lots of light around here. So I've, since I've cleared, since I initially cleared this out, I've not had any mobs spawn in here. So it should be entirely safe. And then we've also got this here. Now the interesting thing about this, everywhere that we're walking here used to be either dirt or cobblestone or iron or coal. And I dug it all out. All of this that we're walking in now is is what I've what I dug out by my hand. It took me about an hour or so I guess. And it was because I wanted materials. And I wanted the entire area to be a stone cavern. I didn't want any dirt and I certainly wanted to pick up all the coal and I wanted the iron. 
Um, but I really wanted this to be a stone cavern to, you know, to, to be able to go and explore. Maybe I might be able to get some vines down here or something to decorate it a bit more, make it look a bit more awesome. But, um, so, of course, you do have to realise, of course, that at the end of the day, it is just stone. Uh, so there's only, only so much that you can see here, but you kind of get the idea. If you do a little bit of roleplay, just a tiny, tiny little bit of roleplay, and you should be able to appreciate that. Anyway, so... I'm going to make my way back to Monkey Island, uh, but before I do that, I think I'm going to stop this video because that's the end of the tour. So, thank you very much for joining me.